get a chance to chat with one of the guys that I see out at Land of Legends Raceway every Saturday night when I go out there. And yes, I will be back in the pits this year. The guy on the phone with me right now, he is a Navy recruiter and finished 15th in points last year. He did pick up a win in his street stock. It was on Memorial Day weekend. 28-year-old Brad Steinrook Jr. had a big wreck along the way last year, ended up getting a newer car, and he, I think, has a feeling that that new car might make a big difference this year. Up in Watertown today is Brad Steinrook Jr. He joins us here on the channel. Brad, how are we doing today? Great, Doug. Thanks for having me. So what are you doing in Watertown, or can you tell us? Yeah, I'm a Navy recruiter up here in Watertown. Um, just over my country trying to get kids to join so they can replace me when I retire. <laughs> yeah, but you like it, don't you? I like the Navy. I like being on a boat, uh -huh. uh, being on the water, going to see different countries. The recruiting gig, not so much, but okay. no, part so, of it. So you, are you living in Watertown now, then? I am in, uh, living in Watertown right now. Okay, so he'll know that 81 to the thruway route to Canandaigua pretty well here. Uh, tell me, you might actually be racing this coming weekend. Yes, uh, it's up in the air still. Uh, just yesterday, we were working on the car, getting it ready, got the motor fired. I just got a couple of little small things to do left, and then we should be hitting Outlaw Speedway next week for their uh, Lucas Oil National show that they have. If the rain holds off, yeah, know. Yeah, these April shows are, uh, you know, flip a coin pretty much, you know. Uh, if it rains hard Thursday, Friday, it might go away. You just don't know. But but you're, you, you're ready, and you could go if everything works out. Yep, we just have a couple of small things, like I said. Um, and then we should be should be good to go. Okay. Um, how do you do there? Because I think of you, I think mostly of Canandaigua. Do you have a lot of laps at Outlaw? I think I raced there twice. in the la Last year I raced there twice, once with the old car and once with the new car. Um, it's, it's definitely uh, a learning curve that I got to get used to. Uh, I was hoping to make practice yesterday, but the car wasn't ready, and it rained out anyway. So, uh, yeah, not many laps there. Just going to go over there, make sure the car is good, make sure everything's uh, nothing bolt checked, all that stuff. Brakes work. Um, the top ten, you guys. Nice. I'm not gonna go over my head and try to get a win or something uh, when I don't have laps there like that. Gotcha. What happened at mid-season? I remember there was a wreck. What happened again? Refresh my memory. Yeah, so I was battling with Shane Wolf. Um, it was like five or six laps uh, to go. Battling with Shane Wolf. Uh, going into turn three, there's a rut there the whole race, and I kept hitting it, kept hitting it. Uh, didn't change my line at all because I was actually moving pretty good on the bottom. Uh, the one time, I think there was two to go, is when I hit it good and it knocked the steering box out. Oh. So I had no steering whatsoever, and the car pushed, um, and I got sideways, and Carl Johnson was below me. Bounced off Carl Johnson, went up into the wall, and uh, destroyed the front clip, the rear clip. Uh, so the car was junk. Okay. Took you a while to get a new car, and you told me this new car is has a lot of things that the other car did not. Yes, the other car we didn't have uh, the CRS, the close racing supply components on it like we do now. Um, so it does have a little different feel. Uh, it just feels like it handles a little bit better. Okay. Um, so. Nice. So is, is it, let's say, let's say one is just a little bit of a difference and 10 is a huge difference. How much difference is this new car from the other one? What number would you give it? Probably a seven feel wise. That much, huh? Okay. Yeah, it feels, it feels way different. It doesn't get as sideways. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's more, more straight. So the straighter you are, the more speed you have. So yeah, the easier, better you come off. And a lot of guys tell me with these newer cars that do have all the close racing supply stuff on them, I can't remember who told me this exactly, but it was somebody who did like you did, had an older car, and then updated. They said, man, I can go in a corner a heck of a lot deeper now. I guarantee that's probably Carl Johnson. <laughs> uh, it might have been, now that I think about it. It was either Carl or somebody else, but that was the big thing that they told me. And you had the same experience? I did. All right, so look out this year. Sounds like Brad Steinrook Jr. is going to be pretty darn fast. Tell me you might not be able to do the whole season because you've got something else going on outside of racing that's going to, going to change your life a little bit, huh? Yeah, so I'm going to be doing a partial schedule this year, uh, once every other week kind of thing. Uh, I have a new, another daughter coming into this world, May nice. 6th, so I'm not going to be racing as much uh, uh -huh. from May to June-ish, and then after that, it'll be every other weekend. Oh, okay. All right. I'm going to look at my calendar here just to see. 
Yeah, May 6th. be bouncing around. May 6th is a Saturday. So uh, may, maybe you'll get lucky and, and she'll go a little early and you'll still be okay and be able to make that. But I know you don't want to be that guy, right? <laughs> yeah, no, nope, that's not, I can't do that. I got to yeah. just support the wife. And mm-hmm. I got another daughter who's going to be three years old a couple of days after my other one's born. So Yeah. Yeah, it's not like you can just set her aside for a little bit or drop yeah, her off somewhere. No, so. Do do, do, so does so, she yeah. understand what's going on at three or no? Oh, no, she's just going with the flow right now. Oh, okay, she but she will soon enough. <laughs> I will tell you, she does love racing. Oh, really? So you might be doing a micro in a few years or a quarter midget or something like that, huh? I'm still trying to talk my wife into that. Oh, so that's a discussion. I go, shh, guys, don't bring that up, okay? So so yeah, partials, cool. So how will you decide when it's time to race and when it's time to stay home, or will it be kind of a week-to-week thing? Because it almost sounds like that's what it's going to be, right? Yeah, I already um, I looked at everybody's schedule for racetrack-wise, and I just came up with a schedule and made one so far. So okay. just a rough, uh, rough draft right now just to see how things go. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this year is going to be more about me hitting tracks I've never been to. Um, I see. Going to Thunder Mountain, Outlaw, Land of Legends. I'm not going to have one weekly track. It's just going to be bouncing around. Well, there's that Street Stock series that, that Mike's putting together. Is that something you're thinking about doing a few races on, too, possibly? The only one I'm going to hit is Land of Legends one uh, okay. in September. That's only because I work. Uh, I can't get off work on the weekdays to make those shows, so. Oh, okay. You don't have personal time and things like that where you could take a Tuesday and go to a midweek somewhere or something? Uh, yeah, I don't have time to take like that. So it's not like a regular job where they do give you that kind of thing, so. Yeah, I get uh, vacation days. It's mm-hmm. just uh, a matter of me getting it uh, approved or not approved. Because oh. I'm the only recruiter up here in Watertown, so. So that's the difference right there. And there's nobody else to take your place when you're gone, so. Yes. Yeah, okay, so it's not like working in a factory in a union where you get, uh, 21 sick days, 21 personal days, 21, and you can take them whenever you want. It doesn't have, like Dave Marcacelli. He's a guy who can take them whenever he wants, so that's not you. So so how excited are you about getting a chance to go out in this car and, and see what you can really do? Really excited. Uh, I can't wait for racing season. I've had an itch since racing season ended last year just because I didn't get to race this car as much. Um, in fact, we had problems when we took it out, so. Okay. Uh, I'm excited to get this season started to see how we do. Yeah, I can only imagine, you know, a new car. He's got what he needs to get to victory lane. So uh, is there any other tracks you can go? Because I know street stock rules are, are hardly universal when, across the state. Are there other tracks you could go to if you wanted? Or do you know? Uh, well, all I know right now is, uh, like, Ransomville, Thunder Mountain, Land of Legends, Genesee, Woodhall. Mm-hmm. And I think those are the only okay. uh, tracks that run our kind of cars or our rules. Okay. I'll tell you what, I've always wanted to try Woodhall myself. Um, I've that, been there once. Yeah, how'd you like it? It was a different uh, it was a change for me. It looks I'm like not, a different uh, used to the small paperclip type tracks, so mm-hmm. it, was, uh, it was different for me. Mm-hmm. Do you feel that banking? Oh, you do. You do. When okay. you're on the bottom going around the corner, it definitely sucks you right in. <laughs> so so my idea of wanting to try that track one time, you would say, yeah, Doug, you need to do that. Definitely. All right, cool. Well, good luck with everything. I hope May 6th goes well. And those of you who have been in this situation before, you know exactly how Brad feels right now. He's just waiting for it. Can't do anything about it, but he's going to try to be as ready as he can and support his wife as much as he can as well. So keep in touch, man. And if you end up having a great weekend, make sure you give me a shout. and We'll get you back on, okay? Definitely. Thanks for having me. Hey, good, and thank you for the work that you do in the service to our country. Guys, hit that blue E down there. That'll subscribe you. Turn on notifications. If you want to hit the super thanks, you can throw us a few bucks there to help keep us going. And obviously, uh, turn on your notifications so that way you know every time we're doing something cool. We'll see you guys later. As you can see, we've turned it up a notch. It's ready to go time here in New York State.